If you guys want any cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you go over to G2A.com and use discount code B87 to get 3% off your total order. And we are back again for the episode number two of the Road to Glory Weird Showdowns BPL. It's been a long time coming. Yesterday's episode was brilliant. Starting off with two wins and two upgrades. You are seeing Valencia and Kiate in the team. Two awesome players anyway. And it looks like we are going for the theme of uh, West Ham currently. Two upgrades from West Ham. And we also have a strike partner which is Sacco uh, for Valencia as well. Guys, if we could try and hit over 4,000 likes, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Subscribe if you're new as well. And uh, as you can tell by the side, we played 2 1 2, and uh, we had 26,000 coins in profit. Not bad for two games there, and hopefully we can continue doing that today. If you guys want to be partaking in any of these wage matches as well, make sure you do follow me on Twitter, which is at Bates87, and I will be tweeting out details of how to be involved. Um, obviously, all these wage matches are against subs, or, well, hopefully against subs anyway, because I like playing you a lot. Um, and it's a, I find this more competitive than a normal World of Glory. Don't know why, I think it's because I just like the competitive edge of wage matches. And uh, it's nice to actually be doing some in V15. And it's given me a chance to be able to try and play the game, um, well, play the game competitively for a change after getting a little bit better uh, since the start. So the first team we're up against is a nice looking hybrid team with uh, Morrison, Mayuka, Bonglaho, um, and a very solid defence as well. Not full chemistry. And we're going to start off with a little bit of glitch. EA Sports Rugby 2015 has been released and it's been trialled in FIFA 15 itself. As you can tell, the ball is out of the pitch and we are able to take free kick um, <laughs> off, off the pitch. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, um, but the game itself felt absolutely crap. The uh, like, Look at the way my guy just did a somersault there. It was ridiculous. There was a few more glitches as well where his defence was hanging around on the goalpost and stuff like that. Quite annoying to be honest. But uh, we did take a 1-0 lead there with Gabby Bonglaho. And uh, thankfully... Uh, well, not thankfully. We were able to get back into the game with a nice ball from Kiate to... Uh, Lingard, who seems to be alright. I don't really rate Lingard that much. He's very weak. Um, but Valencia there to score on his debut for me. Quite a nice finish as well. But we were felt some bullshit again. I don't know how he got managed to get through, but he did. And Gabby Bonglaho, who is a clinical finisher with the outside of his foot, puts it past our defender uh, and goalkeeper and does make it 2-1. That being the first loss of this wager series as well. So now I also get to explain to you what happens when we do lose a game. Uh, and it's a perfect time to do it as well even though we're not higher up getting downgrades we are actually getting them now which means we are moving to a bronze centre back the player we were going for as well at the start if you didn't see who it was it was a car he was worth 15k so we did pay out the 15k to the opponent and we also downgrade to a bronze rare silver um, and it is someone who's probably the best non-rare uh, probably the best rare bronze player in the centre back position in the BPL but not the best anyway but we're going to leave him in there for a little bit uh, try our best and try and bolster our attack as well, because that's where I seem to be struggling. We're also playing the rematch against the guy we played last time, just because of the bullshit which was what was in the game. And hopefully it'll be a bit better game than before. So you're going to see his team once again. It is a, it's a nice BPL and Serie A hybrid, even though it's not full chemistry because of the weak links in the defence. But it is a not bad team anyway with Bamba and him out in the centre-back positions. And a very fast defence, I must add as well. In the 45th minute, just after half-time, from kickoff, in fact, Vanessa. Valencia on a power dribble, running straight on through. And Valencia's one of them players I played before, ripped me a new one. And uh, thankfully, he's starting to do it for my opponents as well. So the second goal in two games for him. And that was how the game did stand. A 1-0 victory. And we walk away with 30,000 coins and Nathan Dyer added into the team. We're going to continue going for silver upgrades as well in this episode. Just because I don't mind that bronze player. He played all right in the last game so far. I'd give him a chance and uh, actually go for Van Anholt, the left back from Sunderland. Obviously, a lot of guys remember him from last year. Quite expensive as well. He is quite expensive for a, for a left back. He's 15,000 coins, but he's someone who Flanagan's not doing the best for me, and he's quite annoying. Um, being a Liverpool fan, I want him to be good, but he's actually not that good. Uh, so we're going to replace him with a bit of pace, which is Van Anholt anyway. But we need to win the game first. And yet again, we uh, organised it via, t via Twitter. Make sure you follow me. All the links as well to my social media and things like that are down below. So make sure you do get a drop a follow on them. And we come up against this nice looking hybrid team as well. A few Mexicans, a few Chileans, a few 
few Argentinians and a few English players as well as well as Schmeichel in net. Not a bad team, looked dangerous and this guy's record um, on the website I was playing on as well was pretty good so I wasn't really looking forward to this game but thankfully a little bit of EA, uh, he just couldn't hit, the, uh, he couldn't hit the target. I don't know what it was but thankfully we were able to tap in from about three yards out with uh, Valencia again getting on the score sheet. So that's three goals in three games for him and uh, it continued to get even better. Lingard linking up with uh, the attackers, setting up Chiare who chips it through to uh, Traore who does smash it into the back of the net making it 2-0. But this guy was dominating me on possession, he was dominating me on passing, he was dominating me on taking shots but none of them were hitting the goal which was a surprise. I think he did hit the post one or two times as well but it was just when I went up to attack every shot I took went in. Well it went in after a save from Schmeichel anyway so it does make it 3-0 in the 46th minute and the final bit of bullshit was which I'm going to say is bullshit because I don't think this was a penalty and um, he does go in on Valencia. Valencia falls over and the ref gives a penalty. I'm not going to be messing around You've got to continue going on and we do score the fourth goal and seals the victory of the second win of this episode. One loss and two wins but two upgrades and one downgrade. That's the way you got to see this series. We're still in major profit as well as you can see coming up on the screen now. We have 56,000 coins up and only lost 15k and we have four upgrades in the team and one downgrade. Hopefully we can sort that out in the next episode. If you are new guys remember to drop a subscription. Drop a like rating as well trying to smash over 4,000 likes and uh, also remember to check me out on Twitter if you want to partake in any of these wages for the upcoming episodes. Let me know with some players we can get in the future as well as I've not really gone near the BPL silvers nor really the BPL gold either so I need to find out who the non-rare players are or even anyone else. Until next time guys, see you all later, have a very, very nice day.